This is Tori. She fell in love with Travis and Ethan and Mark and Chris. Their four-way relationship is working wonders for them. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right, fellas, welcome back. We're here. We're back again to make fun of more stupid bullshit that could be found on the wonders of the internet. I'm not sure if anybody out there is going to be familiar with this story because I did not cover this story when it came out. This came out a couple of months ago. It was like, it was, it was sometime like towards the end of 2019, maybe four or five months ago. However, even though I never personally made a video on this topic, I saw other videos about this topic and these these people, right? These beings, but you're going to have to understand the precursor to all this in order for the update that we're going to talk about here today to really come into play before we do you know the deal real quick okay if you're not subscribed to the channel just subscribe right now okay quit having a small dick it will make your life a lot better and anybody that has subbed will attest to that turn on your goddamn notifications blah 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 so you could be part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live and last but not least watch the entire video don't be a bitch now, fellas, what we have an example of here today is a polyamorous relationship. So there's one woman <laughs> and four men, if you can even use that term for both parties, respectively. <laughs> so Tori here has four boyfriends and the boyfriends aren't dating each other. They're all just dating her. To sum it up quickly, she got pregnant by one of these four guys and they're basically all just playing dad with the same kid now. And what ended up happening is that one of the dads ended up abusing the kid and we're gonna take a look at that at the end here. But first, before that, I think we gotta take a look at this video that was originally made about them because no matter how much describing I do on my own, it's not gonna hit the same, right? It's gonna be hitting a lot different if you hear it from them. Let's just take a look right now at one of the most fucked up relationships I've ever seen in my life. Ryan and Travis's room, this is the master bedroom. Um, this is the room that has the bigger bed. Um, that people will swap in and out of every night just so that everyone can get equal turns, you know, sharing a bed. While this is like mine and Travis's room, we keep all of our stuff in here. People are rotating in and out. First of all, first thing I would like to point out here, Florida. You knew it, you had the feeling, and your gut was correct. Of course it's Florida. Second of all, I guess more importantly, right, we all knew it was going to be Florida, but second of all, she has this master bedroom here, and she lets them take turns sleeping with her each night. So I guess the room belongs to her and mainly one other guy, but that one other guy lets the other four guys come in and out night after night. Does anybody else feel like just absolutely throwing up even thinking about that, man? Can you imagine willingly letting another man come in to sleep with your girlfriend and do God knows what in those sheets, man? Especially these people, like, no offense, but, you know, if someone was going to be doing these activities in my bedroom, could we at least just have them be, like, some somewhat normal? I mean, just e even, like, halfway normal? My main question here for them is, how often do the sheets get changed? Because if they don't get changed every night, which for some reason I just get the feeling is probably true, I bet they don't get changed every night, that is just absolutely beyond disgusting. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, these are the last four people on Earth I would ever want to share sheets with. The first polyamorous relationship I had been in was actually with Travis and Ethan. Travis was the one who had brought up the idea to me. We met back in elementary school. We've been dating for all, about two and a half, almost three years. I've known Ethan since junior high, and we made things official recently, but we've basically been dating for about two years now. And the next one would be Mark. We met in high school, and then Chris is the newest addition. <laughs> uh, we've been dating since... April. Well, isn't that just a very, very lovely story, guys? I mean, wow, what what a like, you know, what a twist of fate and turn of events that we had here. They're so lucky they all ended up together, you know? It was just fate. It was meant to be. I want to point out one of the cringiest things about this whole thing, okay? So if you look at this image of them, all four of them right here, they're just like, they're just completely all over her, dude. It's the weirdest thing. Like, look, she's holding two of their hands, but the worst part about it, like the most cringe thing about this is look at the guy all the way on the right here. Travis, he's reaching across another dude to hold his girlfriend's hand but the dude who he's reaching across is also banging his girlfriend holy shit 
How is it even fathomable to have that little respect for yourself? And the other dude's just sitting there like, yeah, whatever, it's all fine. Like, dude, if that was me, I mean, it, it would never be me, believe me. But if it were me, I'd be like, bro, get the fuck off of me. Don't touch me, you fucking freak. We're not romantic with each other. We're all just connected with her. Although Tori might like it to be another way. If they're all more than welcome to have another partner if they so choose, but as of currently, no. Um, honestly, I would love it if somebody found a, a second partner. <laughs> you know, dividing time between all five people and making sure everyone feels included is kind of difficult. All right, I can't even wrap my head around this one. She wants them to go and get other partners so that she doesn't have to spend as much time with them. Why don't you just break up with them, dude? You know, if you're sitting here talking about how it's so hard to divide time between all these people, you might have too many boyfriends, okay? I think two boyfriends is too many boyfriends, but four is surely too many boyfriends. And these fucking doofuses are just sitting there taking it. Like, can you imagine if your girlfriend said to someone on camera, I wish she'd go get another partner so I don't have to pay attention to him? Can you be any more beta seriously serious question can you be any more of a pussy than that i don't know how fellas i don't know how she roped these guys in right i i can only think to myself that she just must be absolutely fire in bed if you want to even imagine such a thing i mean what other reason how, like how else could you brainwash four different men into falling for this and going along with it? Then again, I would be willing to bet that these guys probably think anything is fire in bed because they may not have the other experience necessary for comparison. Come to think of it, that might actually go along with her attitude here, how she's saying, I wish they would go find another partner. I think she knows deep down in her head that they ain't gonna find another partner, especially when they hear about her. So it's almost like a reverse psychology game she's playing with them, right? She's like, Oh, you're free to do whatever you want, but they know deep down in the back of their head they can't they can't do anything. They, they don't they don't got shit. How often do you experience jealousy in the relationship? Regretfully a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shocker. Never would have guessed that one at all. No, sharing your girlfriend with three other guys. Why would, what now? Why would you feel jealous? Come on, bro. Lighten up. It's 2020, right? We're all inclusive here. Everybody, sex, sexual freedom, right? Am I right? Thankfully, there are a couple of healthy ways to deal with it. Primarily just talking to each other. We have a tendency to talk around the moment of, hey, I need some time with Tori, rather than actually <laughs> saying it outright. Ew, dude. So, not only are they sharing their girlfriend with each other, and they're getting jealous, but also, at the same time, if they're actually mad that she's spending too much time with one of the other ones, they won't even actually come out right and say it. I guess with how beta male this whole situation is, I'm really not surprised by this at all, but it still is quite sad. So, um, would you ever consider a romantic relationship with each other? I don't really know, to be honest. I guess I'd be, I'm open to it, but I'm not going to go after it. I know Ethan and I sort of tried back in high school, and that kind of flopped really fast. Okay, I have no comment for that. Next. Now this five-way relationship is about to be joined by an additional member. So I am currently about 23, 24 weeks pregnant. We found out a couple weeks ago that we're having a girl. <laughs> we're very excited. And so who's the father of the baby? So Chris is the biological father. Um, we just know that because of timing. <laughs> This is a big yikes, man. Real talk now, okay? No more roasting even, all right? When a baby comes into a situation like this, it's just not gonna be good for the baby. I don't think an argument even has to be made to support that statement. No baby should be growing up in an environment where it thinks it has four different fucking dads, okay? Well, that just may become a true statement now because now the baby may only be having three dads going forward. So coming back to the original reason that I make this video today was the update about this family, right? One of the dads has been now charged and jailed because of child abuse. Can you guess? Does anyone want to guess which one it is? I'll give you a second. We'll put the picture back on the screen here, right? Which of these four guys looks like he's going to be abusive most to you? Take a second to really think about it. It's Ethan, which honestly is, is almost somewhat surprising to me, but I don't know. I, I feel like if you just look at his face, like the other guys are kind of weirdos, but they don't really look like they do something bad. If you really take a look at this guy here, I think it makes sense. So here's his mugshot right here. We're going to take a look at the abuse article in just a second, but here it is right here, man. Jacksonville man jailed an abuse of five-week-old baby. 
Just disgusting, honestly, man. Really, really pisses me off. Real talk, we make fun of a lot of things here, but abusing a child, man, that's not even something that, like, I, I can't, I'm not even gonna make a joke about it, you know? We can't. It's sick, it's disturbing, and there's, there's obviously, like, there's an innocent victim here. So here's the article. A five-week-old baby was hospitalized in Florida recently after she was violently abused by one of her four fathers, Ethan Baucom. Police were alerted to abuse by hospital staff who called officers in to investigate after the baby was found to have had severe injuries inside her lungs and ribs as well as multiple brain bleeds. The child comes from a home with one mother and four fathers who are conducting a polyamorous relationship. Baucom had been tasked with babysitting. When questioned, he told police that it was due to the difficulty he had sleeping while looking after the child that led him to harm her. I'm sorry, does anybody out there think that this is an excuse because the baby was crying too much and you couldn't sleep? Uh, tough shit, asshole. You know, that's what being a parent is. Like, w was he expecting anything different? I don't understand, man. Right now, I especially don't take kindly to this kind of story because a lot of you guys know out there, if you follow me on Twitter especially, but I've got my first baby doing one month my wife and I are expecting and just the thought that somebody would actually go and do this because a baby is crying just beyond despicable like there's really no words for it you entered this fucked up relationship willingly okay no no all jokes aside now right if there was no baby involved and you're all happy whatever I guess you know do, do what makes you happy but when there's a baby coming into something like this man if you were gonna exit like if there are any issues going on you know they said there were jealousy issues before and anything like that like if there's any aggravation going on that you're watching another man's baby that your girlfriend birthed her getting pregnant definitely would have been the time to exit here this part makes it even worse here ready so upon investigation it was determined that the child was attacked on three separate occasions Tori, the child's mother, had reported her partner previously to the Florida Department of Children and Families saying that Baucom had told her he had squeezed the baby. He fucking went after the baby a previous time and she didn't, like, leave him. She didn't kick him out of the house. She let him stay after he harmed her baby. He squeezed her. Shitty mom alert, okay? Straight up, right now. Like, right there, that's evidence enough. This baby should just be taken away from all of them, man. It was never a good idea to have a baby in a household like that, but if there's abuse going on and its own mother can't even defend it from the abuser, who can defend it, you know? And it's not like he just roughed her up a bit, which still wouldn't be okay, obviously, but it's not like he did minor damage to her, okay? The kid had a broken leg, a broken arm, and multiple skull fractures and brain bleeding. A broken leg and broken... Dude, what? Oh my god, I can't I can't even think about it, yo. I'm actually getting mad, okay? I rarely get mad on the channel when I read these fucking stories, but child abuse, just absolutely no excuse for it at all, man. This guy needs to go to jail forever. He should just be taken in front of the firing squad and get it over with. But anyway, fellas, that is it. That's the update, okay? I'm glad, you know, I, I'm not glad it happened, but I'm glad the guy is finally in jail now because he did it once before, he got away with it, and now he's locked up where he belongs. I think that baby should be taken away. I really do. I, I don't think, like, if a mom would let someone back in the house after he already did something once, she just can't be trusted anymore either. So she sucks too. They all suck. You know, most of these people probably just fucking suck. But hey, you know, freaks out there are just gonna continue on being freaks. So we're just gonna continue on roasting them when possible. But hopefully there's no more stories like this where a child's getting abused because I don't take kindly to that shit, man So anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below And if you guys enjoyed the video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome amazing videos Just like this turn your goddamn Notifications so that you could be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live and follow me on Twitter and Twitch Links are both down below and I will see you dudes in the next video Love you. Bye